Hey everyone, welcome to Talk Daily. Uh, I am your host, Eddie, and today we're going to be talking about a subject that really does grind my gears. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, before I start this, the article comes to us from Mortar Trend, and it's written by Monica Gunderman. And um, basically what the story is that Ford is going to be joining on this uh, program uh, to be able to allow an uh, insurance company to gain access to the telemetry of your vehicle. Basically all the uh, information regarding uh, your driving habit. And before you go into saying, oh no, there's, you know, they're selling our information. Not exactly. I'm pretty sure that's something you will opt in. Uh, but uh, they're pro they're partnering currently uh, I believe the State Farm and Ford they're making that UBI program which is user-based insurance I don't know if you heard of it or not is uh, basically something like other companies have a State Farms I believe they have it and with uh, all with GM also has it with OnStar basically uh, think about it as a device that's plugged into your vehicle and it's basically, it basically gives uh, acceleration, deceleration when you're driving or using your phone, etc. And it gives you discount, which is fine. Again, you could opt out of it. But the problem comes to, making a long story short, uh, the problem comes to when you opt out of it, what happens? And I'm pretty sure insurance will go up. Uh, it's going to get to that point where all insurance companies be like, well, if you're not sharing your data with us, um, we're not going to, you know, we're not going to give you that good driver discount. Anyway, so, but what's nice about it is that some places cannot be offered. Like it says it won't be offered in California, Massachusetts, and Rhode Island. Yay. Good job, California. The one time in my life I say, you did it, Cali. Well done. Yeah, I can't drive my evil because it's smog, but I think, okay, I'm, I'm happy with this. You know what? I'm happy. I'm happy. Okay. Take the smog thing aside. I'm, I'm, I'm still a little bit bitter that my tuned evil cannot be driven on the road but it's all right it's all right anyway so good job california saying because uh, i really don't like it so anyway it says state farm and ford drive and save and save ubi program would initially launch in alaska idaho montana and oregon with more state following it won't be offered in california massachusetts and rhode island as a side note uh, ubis are prohibited in some state meaning nationwide availability is not granted uh, man, that's, that's kind of a tough subject for me because uh, I understand that some people say, well, I don't have a problem. You can, you can track me all day long. But again, if you're not aware of, usually most of the audience of my channels are people who would love to drive. And um, it's, it's, you can't turn it off. And that's the problem. It's not like you, you are part of that program and you can turn it off because if you look at the article saying, okay, so how can I opt out of it? And it goes, Ford goes, oh, you need to contact us because saying as Ford road and track days, turning off Ford telematics does not seem to be an option. Rather, representative from Ford suggests that a customer can opt out of drive and save at any time a decision that might impact discount and premiums. Maybe snitching vehicles isn't the best option for an avid fun havers who frequent a desert or the track. Oh yes, I truly agree with Monica on that one. Um, I mean, let me know what you guys think. I, are you okay with that? Because uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. When I'm driving my car, sometimes I'm driving and as a how are we gonna put it, a complete brain dead person in front of you. For whatever reason that might be, right? He's uh, he or she or whatever busy on their phone, or uh, they're confused by the road ahead of them. They're just utterly confused, and you know exactly what you're doing. You know exactly what you're going. So you're like, you know, go to the right, go straight, pass the person. Well, that sudden acceleration, deceleration, changing direction, mm -mm -mm, that would be looked at. Hey, 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 you're not a safe driver. Um, Again, I if you work for an insurance company, please do chime in. I mean, obviously, I don't work for an insurance company. I understand there is uh, there is an argument to be had for this because some people, as I said, they're just patient. They drive patiently, and maybe that's uh, you would have the UBI on a vehicle that you uh, daily drive, and you might not ha not have it on a vehicle that you drive it spiritually, right? You know, you know, you go out and you enjoy this. I don't know. We just leave it at that, okay? I don't want to get in, uh, in trouble. And uh, what do you do with your car? But keep it legal, please, okay? Keep it legal. Take it to the track. But it seems you can't turn it off. So if you take your car to the track, you cannot turn it off. So that car would not be insured under that policy. And that might affect your premium and how much uh, you will pay for it. 
I don't, I don't, again, I, I don't, I, I know that these cars now, modern cars are collecting data from you. 100%, 100%. If they're not sharing with insurance company, they're sharing with the manufacturer. So you, you are constantly being, uh, data is being farmed. And it's just with everything, you know, with your phone, with your online activity, we are aware of that, uh, you know, this is not something that is new, but it, eventually when it's starting to affect your bottom line, it becomes uh, somewhat of uh, an issue. Again, depends on the state you live in. This program on, well, is not allowed. And I try to research why. I want to really give you the exact reason why I said UBIs are prohibited in some state you know, I think collecting data from you, which is good. And, um, I think that's a good thing because, um, to me, a vehicle is, it's a personal, I mean, why do we have cars? Because, you know, we can't walk, right? We, we can't run everywhere. We need, we need a car. So them accessing data from us in that way, I feel again, I understand why. I understand why car companies are doing it. It's always money. The answer to everything is always money. They're doing it because they're trying to save you money. But at the same time, I, uh, I'm i always resent. I am just my personal thing. I always don't want to share my data um, unless I'm getting a piece of the pie. And I guess when you when you share it with the insurance company, they say, hey, look, we'll give you a discount. But the problem is they're not giving you a discount. They're basically saying, if you're not doing it, I'm going to increase your insurance. That's, that's the way to look at it. They're not giving you a discount. They're just simply saying, you're not going to share our data. Most definitely you're, you're, you're going to be on a higher rate. So again, let me know what you think. Is that something that bothers you? Is that something that you're, you're neutral to it? Or is that something you will opt in? Again, some state doesn't have it. California, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, and some other state. So it's not going to be nationwide, but it's a kind of an eye opening. All these modern cars, they're collecting your data. I would, uh, I would love to know, are this data also going to the DMV? Probably, right? Is this data just staying in a private sector? Is it also going further more? Uh, are you just having a history of you as driving being kept somewhere in some server and can you gain access to it? It would be interesting if I'm able to, oh yeah, can I please gain access to my data? I, I don't know. It's uh, it's one of those things that gets, uh, you start going to that realm of, of data mining. And uh, again, if uh, one of the viewers, you guys work for the insurance company and you know about the system and you know the benefit, please do uh, chime in. I personally just look at it from a, a perspective of, you know, I take my car to the track and... Um, yeah, do I zigzag in and out of traffic like an idiot? No, but I do avoid, uh, just the other day, I had to avoid literally uh, an accident that was just happen in front of me. I just zoom, zoom and go pass by. And most often I don't drive in a bubble of cars. I'm either in front of everybody or I'm behind everybody. I don't join the group because um, that's not really safe. But my driving habit would definitely not be considered tame, slow, I'm, that's not the way I drive. So I, uh, I don't listen to music to hands on the steering wheel. I'm always focused on what I'm doing, but, um, again, that's very, very personal. And this does not reflect the majority of everybody. I'm probably less than 1% of the majority of drivers, you know? So, um, maybe that program is uh, beneficial for them. Uh, so anyways, let me know what you think. You think this is something that, uh, you're interested in. Oh, by the way, and also there's an article by Forbes. Right. I'll have the link, of course, to all this article in the description below. They talk about it, like how it works. So if you need to know, it goes, uh, this article is written by who? Hmm. Jason Ment. There you go. He's the editor. And it's from Forbes. And this article is not that long ago. It, start, it basically says that user base insurance, how it works, and based on speed, acceleration, hard braking, hard cornering. I'm very guilty of hard cornering. Uh, miles driven. I drive a lot. That's standard. Time of day phone use while driving and uh that's what they're using the data to to judge you again i don't see any gps in there but it says user based insurance program collect vehicle uh, telematics uh, data that comes from cellular gps or other technology and what technology they use um for example oh, right here oh, i forgot about that one bmw connect drive or onstar now we're having ford uh, through a device for your OBD, onboard diagnostic too, nationwide smart ride. Now all these like nice names for the apps. 
uh, smartphone apps such as all set drive it's get really it's gonna get to that point where we're driving and uh you know it's not even your own vehicle it's leased and it's monitored and it's self-driven and uh it just goes oh sir you're going to mcdonald's again well hop in again if that's your cup of tea that's a good uh, through a device called TAG, which installed on your windshield wiper, connect via Bluetooth. Uh, Liberty Insurance uses that. It's called Bright Track. Um, so it tells you some insurance, some insurance company will offer you a choice of how you want the data collected. But it doesn't mention anything about you receiving that data and saying, hey, can I get a report, please? For example, Liberty Mutual Insurance Bright Track offers you the choice among a TAG, plug in mo um, or mobile phone. While State Farm and Drive Safe let you choose between smartphone app or your car on start system. Again, if you want to know about it, just uh, go ahead and read this article. It's also kind of interesting, but I'm kind of giving you like the, basically the gist of it. That's is it is it worth it? Um, a lot of people look. They're saying uh, a two third of a server, sixty four percent saying they were very satisfied, extremely satisfied. Uh, I mean, again, if you're opting for this program, you are that kind of person. I don't understand why you opt in for this program and saying 26% were neutral. I don't understand that. Um, this is basically saying a survey of uh, the customers using it. And um, uh, I, I would never opt in to have my data collected, at least not consciously, you know. Um, I'm, I'm, I, I don't really care. To me, insurance companies are they're, they're, they're necessary, of course, but uh, it... Uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to say bad things about insurance companies because I know they're very important and we need them. And they're, they're, they do uh, amazing service, you know, when a car gets wrecked and they help you out. But unfortunately, the way the insurance system works, like I have some cars that are becoming classic. And, uh, you know, you, you get your car, you, you, you car, your car gets damaged. Let's say your 2000, okay, I'm being specific, my 03 Evo, right? I love it, but... If it gets damaged, I contact the insurance company. Oh, salvage. Here's 8000 bucks. It's worth more than $8,000. You know, my oil and suspension is worth six on it. Just that. Nope. So that part, I don't love that. That's why I don't... You know, if you, if you modify cars and, you, and you're into cars, you getting insurance becomes a different subject. And this is obviously this insurance is not for that. This insurance for a brand new vehicle and, you know, you're leasing it or you're, you know, you're just going to have a couple of years. So... They're very adequate. They pay you off, and they, you're not gonna have that problem I just mentioned. I'm just saying my point of view. And if you relate to it, let me know also. If you if that happened to you, you know, you're driving your, I don't know, your your beloved 1990 Mustang 5.0, and you know, they say here's two thousand dollars for your car. And you're like it's worth a lot more. But that's Kelly Blue Book. That's that's the one, that's the only problem I have with insurance companies. Anyways, but. Um, uh, again, uh, let me know what you guys think. You think that's a, uh, you think it's a good program or not? You, you can already tell. Like I'm, I'm not biased toward it. But um, again, if it saves you some money and it doesn't bother you, um, I guess I'm, 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 I'm naturally against it. But again, since I live in California, we don't have that program, so yay. Anyway, so as always, um, thanks for watching and. Um, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And all your comments, I always read them. I really appreciate everything you guys say and all the comments you guys write. Uh, it's always very interesting to hear what you guys think. And as always, drive safe. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.